In this video, we're gonna talk about the Canon T6 and I'm gonna show you how to set it up so that you can get awesome video and pictures right out of the box. <laughs> Hello YouTube, my name is Ryan Timms and I am a video creator based in North Carolina. If you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I do all kinds of different camera tips and tricks. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Canon T6, which is the entry level DSLR from Canon. So if you're taking a look at this camera, this is gonna be you know, very bare bones, um, something to just kind of get your feet wet. Maybe you're not really sure if you're into photography or video, um, but you're ready for something that's gonna be better than your phone, then this is gonna be an awesome camera for you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about getting the camera out of the box, turning it on, what settings do you need to change so that you can start getting the best possible images. So in that opening montage, I filmed a scene just with this kit lens and this very cheap lens from Young Nuo. Now this is a 50 millimeter lens. This is like a knockoff of what they call the Canon Nifty 50. And what's special about this lens is that it gives us that f1.8 aperture, which means we can get very shallow depth of field. So some of those shots that you're seeing where it's very, very shallow, sometimes I'm even missing the focus. It was probably with this lens here. Also the portraits of the cat and the dog were taken on this lens as well. Great little lens. Um, it's an extra 50 bucks. You know, if you're gonna pick up this camera, you might as well pick up this lens from Amazon for super cheap. I'm gonna have links to everything, both of these cameras, extra batteries down in the description. So when you first get your camera out of the box, you're gonna to wanna to pop it into one of our uh, manual modes, either P, T, V, A, V, or M here. I'm gonna switch it to M. And when you do that, and you click on the menu settings, um, the first one that's gonna come up is gonna be image quality. So you're gonna to wanna to change this to raw, and large. So what this means is it's gonna shoot a raw still. So that's gonna give you the most flexibility when you take these images and go to edit them on your computer. You want that raw file, but you also have a JPEG, this L ramp thing. I don't know exactly what it stands for, but it means it's the least compressed JPEG. So it means you're getting the biggest file. You can Wi-Fi from this camera directly to your phone, but you can only do that with that JPEG file. It's not gonna send that raw file. So by switching it to both here, the camera fell asleep. By, by switching it to raw and large JPEG, you click the set button to set this setting. You'll be able to edit these images quickly from your phone if you just wanna pop something right up on Instagram, or you can take the SD card out, put these in your computer, and really stretch the images. So I'm gonna replay some of the photos that I took here and you're gonna see, I shot some of them very underexposed, which means really dark, and I was able to bring them back up to look somewhat normal. And that is always easier with that raw file than trying to mess with the JPEG. The difference is the JPEG is already compressed, which means you're not getting the full quality of the image, whereas the raw file is not. So you can change a ton of things in post with a raw file that you just can't do with a JPEG. I recommend changing that setting first. The next thing that you're gonna wanna change is the next tab over at the top. 
and at the very bottom you'll see something called picture style. Now picture style changes the colors that you see in your images and all of these different things mean different things um, when you get in there. So the one I recommend using and the one I use for all of these videos is called neutral. So when you hit that at the bottom you'll see display detail set. Um, that means if you hit the display button it's gonna bring you into this menu here. It tells us what all these little symbols mean, sharpness, contrast, saturation, and color tone. All these things are gonna change different things in your image, right? So what I recommend doing is bringing your contrast, hitting the set button, bringing it all the way down, minus four, and changing your saturation all the way down, minus four. These contrast and saturation, always easier to add in post. Um, but very difficult to take away. So this is gonna give you the most flexibility with your images to change what you want after you've taken the picture. Um, I highly, highly recommend using these picture style settings. When you're done, hit the menu button to go back and then hit the set button and make sure that this says picture style neutral. This is gonna be the second thing that you're gonna wanna change when you get this camera on. Now if we pop our camera into movie mode, that's the only way we can get access to these movie tab settings. Um, and what you're gonna to wanna to change here is a couple of really small things. The first one is movie exposure. I recommend changing that to manual so that you're in control of what the camera is doing at all times. It's not just doing a bunch of wacky things for you. Um, these other settings here are okay. Something that I recommend changing is your sound recording menu here. Um, you can go in, change this to manual or disable and hit the record level and you can bring this down. So you see this bar at the bottom. Because I'm so close to the camera, we're hitting this red every single time, which means it's gonna distort our audio. It's gonna sound really super weird. Um, so I bring this down almost all the way to this line, maybe a little bit lower here on the right. So I'll punch in here so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. You wanna be in between these two lines at the very end here, um, sometimes all the way down. Since we can't plug in an external mic to this camera, even for just reference audio, we don't want this to be peaking and distorted, so we wanna set this here. Super important here, you have to change your picture style in movie mode as well. So if you've only changed it in photo style, you're gonna to have to go to the movie tab, select neutral again, and hit display so that you can change your settings same as before minus four minus four hit display to back out sorry hit menu to back out and then hit set so that make sure that this says picture style neutral because it's different for photo and video so if you've only set it in one you have to set it in the other and finally our movie record size is where we're gonna be able to change our resolution and our frame rate. So what these numbers mean, 1920 by 1080 means full HD video. The 30 and the 24 next to it stand for a 30 frames per second and 24 frames per second. 1280 by 720 is 720p at 60 frames per second. So if you're gonna to wanna to do slow-mo stuff, you're gonna to wanna to use that 60 frames per second and slow it down in your editing software once you get these files onto the computer. I shot everything with this camera in either 30 frames or 24 frames and slowed it down um, from 30 frames to 24, so only a little bit of slow motion, but that way I could get the maximum resolution out of the images and I think that you're getting the better quality at full HD from this camera. All in all, this is a great beginner camera. I think that it takes awesome stills. That's really where it excels. It takes good video. It's gonna be something different that you have better control over than your phone. Um, I think that this is really the next step up from a phone for many people. Um, so if you're looking at this camera, you're interested in this, make sure that you go in and you really read about these settings. You, you understand them better. You know what you're changing. But experiment for yourself too. Just because that picture style is what I like doesn't mean that it's going to be the best for you. You know, poke around with some of these and experiment to see what's going to work best for your style. Links to everything I talked about will be in the description below. If you have any questions about the T6 while you're setting it up, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you guys are creating with this camera. I wanna see the work that you all are putting out. I wanna see more awesome videos and pictures from this great camera, and I wanna see what you guys are creating. So send that stuff to me, post it in the comments, send it to me on Instagram. I wanna check all of it out. Also, if you found that video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in more camera tips and tricks, um, more work that I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be putting up videos as often as I can on this channel. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Just last week you called me, the way you're talking is driving me.